Oh, petrol heads, it's time to introduce the founder of car collection advisors. Some say his blood is synthetic motor oil. Others, they say he starts his day off with a shot of high octane racing fuel. Now, without further ado, start your engines and let's take it from here in second gear in Book on Racer X. Super light, and uh, it's got the carbon roof, carbon hood, just a beautiful spec. Um, I refer to this car as the big wing car. Uh, this car makes so much downforce at, at 170 miles an hour, it's around 1,900 pounds, which is even more than a center. Uh, just so much grip. Uh, it actually has as much, if not more, grip than the 911 GT3R Cup race car. And recently it was tested against the Cup race tar car with slicks, and there was only a two second difference on a track that had times of 210 and 212, uh, respectively, for the Cup car and this street car. The motor is basically the same as the GT3 motor, however, it has revised camshafts with longer duration, which makes 16 more horsepower. It has a cold air intake, and we'll explain that, where the air is diverted through this radiator. And that's why we have these pieces here to divert the air around the car. The cold air goes through the double bubble uh, roof and back into an intake at the back of the car. And at higher speeds, I've been told it accounts for about another 10 horsepower. So it makes about 525 horsepower, uh, but this car is all about downforce. It's a race car that you could drive on the street. There is no trunk here. This is a radiator, and your intake is right here for the radiator, which left room for active aero on either side of the radiator, which which helps the downforce in the front, creates more front downforce. Then you, at the back of the car, you have this huge, beautiful wing. Um, initially in pictures, I thought it might look too big, but it's just gorgeous. The way the GT uh, 3992 is so wide, it still looks phenomenal when it's active. So there's a DRS system. So when you're coming down the main straight at high speed, there's, there's there's less drag. And then when you hammer the brake, the drag will, will come into play and reel you in for that turn at the end of the straightaway. It's simply just an incredible piece of kit, revs to 9,000, uh, sounds amazing. This has a titanium exhaust that, it, the sound is just phenomenal. And so we did a little testing uh, of this car next to the Ferrari Speciale, uh, which also revs to 9,000. Two naturally aspirated cars running together, and uh, stay tuned for the, the video of that. I think you'll love the way that the two cars sound. You can let us know in the comments which car you think sounds better. And it's a real tough decision. So anyway, that's my quick review. I think I've covered everything, and until the next Posting off off petrol heads.
retro head before I take off in this bad boy. I wanted to tell you about uh, the adjustable compression and rebound dials where you can dial it from one to 10 on the fly compression and rebound, which is a first in not only a street car, but a race car. Normally we have to go into the pit or the paddock and it takes time and then go out and check the setting. This one you can check while you're driving and feel the difference, phenomenal. It also has a traction control dial that is seven way. So you can dial back maybe one or two levels and still have a little bit of safety net. And then as you feel more confident in the car, you can dial it all the way off because when we race, we turn them all off. And uh, those are just some features that are the best in this car. So anyway, I'm gonna take this out for a ride and uh, let you listen to it. 